Welcome everyone to XWF. We had one way, one week off, um, right after Money in the Bank, and we're here in Auckland, New Zealand. Alright, so we have two new day boots in this Money in the Bank ladder match. Or Money in the Bank qualifying match. And. <laughs> the following contest is a ladder match. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 130 pounds. Michael the King Jackson. That's right, Michael Jackson trying to be the man to bring down that Money in the Bank briefcase at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. So this is just a glimpse of what um, the 2K21 or 2K22, I am I don't know what they will call it, honestly. The next season of my universe mode will sort of be like. Why you make me do it? To keep from being broke, what you need to call somebody. Alright, and who do we have next? Man, I. I didn't want it to be. From like Seattle, that. Washington, weighing in at 173 pounds, Allen! Darby Allen from AEW. I'm really a fan of his. Like, I watched one match and it was amazing. Now, I'm not saying that just because, like, I like AEW, because, honestly, I haven't watched a single episode of AEW. Um, I've only watched, like, one match he was in, and instantly became a fan. So, yeah, next time we see him, I will definitely have the entrance theme changed. Darby Allen absolutely getting his butt kicked by Michael Jackson. That is a really good Michael Jackson. Like, I'm not even kidding. I didn't notice they even have, like, the sparkly glove on them. So, yeah, I. I am looking to get more, uh, getting rid of, like, more created superstars that I don't really like in favor of more people like Michael Jackson. Was that supposed to be, like, the coffin drop, uh, like, finisher he does? I mean, that was kind of like it.
They still have not gone for a ladder yet. I think it's more of just wanting to beat each other up. Get the ladder. And a cutter by by Michael Jackson. Do they, like, not know how to get a ladder? Well, they're going to the outside, maybe. Really? And... Michael Jackson looking for a, another RKO. And connects with it. Another one? Now Michael Jackson oboe drop. Wouldn't surprise me if this match is like glitched out. Yes, pick up the ladder. Michael Jackson, he's finally got the ladder and Well, I thought he was setting it up. But ladder now in the ring. And another RKO. I think Michael Jackson has it. AI is so bad at this. Well, maybe not. Off the ladder. And I thought he was going to go for another RKO.
right on to the ladder. Darby Allen to the top. This is Michael Jackson's chance to bring down that briefcase and qualify for money in the bank. Now Darby Allen up to the top. And Darby Allen qualifies for the Money in the Bank uh, match. And replay still aren't off. Well, next up, it's The Undertaker versus Randy Orton. Alright, well, they're already to the ring. An Undertaker dominating Randy Orton. Series of strikes by the Undertaker.
So, of course, that the WrestleMania Undertaker defeated Aleister Black in the steel cage match. Now I think he's looking for new opponents, quite possibly. New challengers for that world title. A big elbow drop. Now Undertaker going to the going to the top. Now Undertaker I think he's setting up for the for the choke slam, but Ray, Randy Orton overpowers Undertaker. And that easy kick out for the Undertaker. There's that backbreaker sort of thing that Randy Orton does. I'm not even sure what it's called, to be honest. Now, just landing them into the ropes. Now, Randy Orton. Got choke slam. And Undertaker. I think he's now looking for the Tombstone Pile Driver. How was that a rope break? He wasn't even near it. I think under t or Randy Orton is completely done here. No signs of getting up or anything.
And now the Undertaker going for the choke slam. Now the second tombstone pile driver. That's a rope break, isn't it? The signature DDT by Randy Orton. And for the pen, and the win. Yeah, I, I hope in the next game the AI is a little better. Alright, well next up we have a, another Money in the Bank qualifier, and this time it will be for the women's Money in the Bank match. Alright, here's the, following contest the first contestant, the well there's only the two contestants. Looks like her legs are like glitching out. It's probably like the the logo or like the tattoos on there. But anyway, Harley Quinn will be taking on Jamie Hader in this match. Honestly, that, that isn't really that bad of a Jamie Hayter, like, model that I found. There's probably better ones by now. Quinn just tossing Jamie around.
and of course in our main event we have a fatal four way for the United States Championship featuring Cody Rhodes since he won like a number one contender match um, of course the United States Champion on Andrade and we have two debuting superstars in that match kind of getting distracted so I see they brought the ladder in the match a lot quicker than Michael Jackson and Darby Allen did Harley Quinn trying to bring that briefcase down. And off the top of the ladder, a big leg drop. Honestly, I'm not even mad that Darby Allen won. Quinn might have it right now. Jamie Hader recovering. I think Harley Quinn definitely has it here. And Jamie Hader getting back up. And 
and Harley Quinn qualifies for the Money in the Bank match. Yeah, I'll just skip past all these replays. Alright, well next up it is the main event for the United States Championship. So first we have Batman. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. And is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from the other side of darkness. Weighing in at 210 pounds, the Masked Man. The Masked Man, also known as Batman. And yeah, his cape is messing up. I hate that they did not fix that. At least in the ne next game, I think they're going with, uh, like EA Sports or something. And now we have the Joker. The challenger from New York, weighing in at 221 pounds. Wonderful beach. Yeah, not sure about that name, but also he's missing like the some shapes like on his face. Whoa. I don't know, I I think Joker might <laughs> Like explode the whole arena. So much pyro in his and introducing the challenger in his from entrance. Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 234 pounds. Cody Rhodes. Yeah, you see the announcer just like frantically trying to look for the name. It's like, who is this guy? I know I've seen him before. Who is he? Might as well just take off that jacket that he's wearing. Because the championship is glitching right through it. That's another thing that I don't like. What is that 
huge bulge in the back of his jacket. I don't know, maybe it's not like the championship, like, sort of poking out a little. I, I don't know. And Cody Rhodes deciding to go for Batman. And then Jolly going for Joker. And Cody Rhodes already trying to pin Batman. I see Batman lost his cape. I'm thinking like next seat, next universe mode that I do, I'm gonna like completely rename it instead of like WWE universe. I haven't really thought of a name or anything. Wait, how did that not count as a pin? Like, Cody Rhodes rolled in, and he was clearly, like, in the pin pos position above uh, uh, Joker. And don't tell me that's how the game was programmed. Actually, I, I kind of know that it is, but still, that should have counted as one. At least I would think it would. Of course, Andrade has so many people to be worried about in this match. I mean, he doesn't even have to be pinned to lose his championship.
find it kind of weird that Batman isn't going for Joker. Now, Joker is going for Batman. I'm surprised we haven't had any, like, legit pinfalls yet. And, and draw the end for the pin. And, and draw the retains. And the fatal four way. Still the United States Champion. And of course, that is it for XWF. And I'll see you Wednesday for Impact Wrestling. Actually, let's see real quick uh, the news. I didn't even read these uh, from WrestleMania. Uh, Liv Morgan picked up a significant win in tonight's match against Ruby Riot, culminating a rocky falling out between former friends. This win proves that the actions her former friend took were not right. Uh, Kaylee Ray suffer has suffered a minor injury during her match. I kind of wondered that because it seemed like she was getting like squash matched in that match although she although still clear clear to compete the threat of further injury should be a concern on the superstar's mind All right so Kaylee Ray is injured so it doesn't look like any news so far so I guess let's take a preview of Impact Wrestling, it might, it might change because I want to do a 24-7 championship, like, Battle Royal. But, yeah, let's see next show what matches are planned for it. Um, let's see. Bobby Lashley and Mickey James 
versus Dave Christ and Zelina Vega. That's a random match. If I ever saw one, uh, Crystal Dallas versus Jordan Grace, that'll probably stay. Uh, Volleyball versus Elgin, well, Volleyball is the 24-7 champion, so that match probably won't be happening. And main event, Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe, that match won't be happening because these two have been feuding for like forever. So probably be some money in the bank matches like qualifying matches in this I actually actually yeah why don't I just do it like that like have this match be a qualifying match I mean I could and then maybe like Replace that with the 24-7 championship match, and then maybe have, I mean, I guess I could do that match. I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you for Impact Wrestling.